the one. Hey, cats and kids, Captain Zorik here, and I'm here with Brad Lander, the New York City Comptroller, who's uh, basically responsible for pushing the money around to make sure things like this happen. Is that more or less right? Trying to make sure it's going where it's supposed to. Okay, now, yeah. he gave a really great speech that unfortunately we're not allowed to record uh, about the importance of theater and the... the in the world today, in New York City today, and us being politically active, and he did it in iambic pentameter. Can you just explain why you felt and given that speech, and why put it in uh, in the Shakespearean format? Oh, I mean, Sha Shakespeare <laughs> in the Park, that it's free, that it's the public theater, like all the things about our democracy that we love, that make it um, worth fighting for and protecting so many of the things that are at risk right now, from us out of control Supreme Court, from insurrectionists, from uh, post-pandemic despair, and it just seemed like, what a beautiful moment this was to remind us, like, this is why we do it. Uh, and it seemed like the best way to honor that spirit is to do it in the spirit of the Bard and the public theater. And uh, iambic pentameter is very disciplining also. You gotta really, like, get your get your stuff in, in, in with right. economy. You're absolutely right. Uh, with the with the limitation, uh, I don't want to call it the limitations, but with the structure of it, it really forces you to say what you mean and figure out what was important to say. It does, it does. And yes, I thought the crowd would appreciate it too. If people have, you know, done the work to get here, that would be like, all right. Is there like any way you... we can read it or find it? I'm or gonna I'll post it, yeah. I have. I think I have, a, I think one of my friends got a video of it. So I'm at Brad Lander on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram and I'll post the uh, post a video if I have it and the text for sure. That's B R A D L A N D E R. B R A D L A N D E R. Brad Lander. Excellent. And now, what do you think about this play? The show is amazing. Of course, I love Denai Guerrera, but the whole like what part of what I talked about in the in the opening is like the superpowers of these actors. So you're thinking about her in Black Panther. And then the set of folks who are speaking in, in ASL, who are, it's, uh, it's kind of... Uh, American Sign Language. Yes. Um, historically, Richard is portrayed with a hunchback or a deformity. And just to flip that, like, the way we think about the bodies of the actors, um, there, there's certainly no, you know, the, the idea, I guess, is that there's a connection between Richard's physical deformity and his moral deformity. And the show just turns that so beautifully on its head. Right, right. I mean, like, she's, like, totally... To, okay, forgive me for saying words like this, but she's, like, totally hot up Beautiful. there Beautiful, yeah, and she's got, um, like, got the normal superpowers. And the people with... Uh, with better morals uh, are not the ones who strike you in their perfection, but in their humanity. Right, right. So, so uh, that that really shows his 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 own hypocrisy yes. by when he strips his sleeve to show his scars or whatever it is that the line was, and it's a perfectly normal arm. Yes. Okay, and uh, and the fact that it's a woman playing a man totally lose that the first the oh, first time he comes so on good. stage. You don't even think about that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So good to see you. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you so much. And enjoy the rest of the show. All okay. right. Captain Zorek. Lovely. Oh, give me All my right. card. I'll look you up. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Uh, okay. That was Brad Lander, Comptroller, New York City. I'll be back after the show. Captain Zorek's coming at you.